Welcome. And following me is a Nefas X20. And today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see, the device in front of me is already locked and without the proper email and uh, password for that email, I can't really get past this. So number one, eh, before we start, you will need to be connected to internet. And number two, you might wanna get to the point where it says verify your account. And from here, I tap on it and it will bring up the keyboard where you can actually go into the themes of it. So you'll have this little uh, paintbrush right here. Tap on it. It takes you to the themes. From here, we're gonna go into the settings of it and into help and feedback. So let's go right here, go into the settings, help and feedback. Uh, and then we're gonna go to bug report. And it gives you a couple options. You wanna hold Gmail. And it takes you to the app settings. From here, we're gonna go into, where is it? Notifications, then additional settings in the app. And once you are here, tap on the drop down menu and you'll find help and feedback. Tap on this and let me just actually go back and you'll basically see this screen right here. So from the search, tap on the search and type in Morse or use Morse code. Basically after just a few letters, it pops up as a primary search. So use Morse code, select that, tap on the play button and it will load couple options so you will find this three dots right here now tap on them and you have the watch later option so tap on that it takes you to the web browser if you're stuck for a moment on the uh, youtube just wait a little bit longer it will redirect to the uh, chrome or whatever the browser is here so once you are on the browser you want to tap on the search bar and navigate into hard reset that info Yeah, let's go. And from here, once you're on the website, tap on the bars right here for the mini and choose download. In the download field, you wanna search for Android 8. Like so, let's just search for it. And the first thing you will see is FRP bypass. So scroll down a little bit and tap on the download. It redirects you. Again, scroll down and once more tap on the download button. Um, okay, so you will need to grant access to the browser so it can actually download it. So it pops up with this, allow. And we want to save it, so tap on OK. Download complete. So from here, I'm gonna tap on the a little metal button right here for the bars uh, to key in menu and choose downloads. It takes you to all the files that have been downloaded. Choose the one that we have just downloaded. And once more, we need to go into settings to allow for this to be installed. So tap on that and enable it and go back. And now install is accessible. So choose that. It will install and then we want to open it. Tap on open. From the app, you wanna choose a Google Account Manager APK install for version 6.0. And once more, go to settings, enable that and go back and install. This time, instead of opening it, we have the option just to click done. And once we do it, it should take us back to the bypass. So right here, click on done. And now choose bypass FRP, choose browser sign in. And from here, you want to tap on the three dots and choose again, browser sign in, confirm that. And we should see Google page right there. Here you want to use your Google account. Uh, if you don't have one, you can always create one on your computer uh, or you can try to create it right here by tapping on the create account. I uh, never really tried that, so I'm not sure how it works, uh, but most certainly you can create one on your computer and then use it to log in here. Now I already have it, so I'm just gonna use that. And 
and then tap on next. And I'm gonna put in the password for it. So let me just do that off the screen. And then choose sign in. So you can see it's logging in and you should be back in the FRP bypass app. So now you wanna hold the power key and choose reboot. Go to the setup process once more. Skip this. Now you don't really want to set up this device fully, you just want to skip through most of it just to gain access to the home screen. Don't copy. And you can see account added and it's the account that we have provided before the reboot. So just tap on next. Like I said, you want to skip basically everything. Uh, the primary objective right now is just to get to the home screen where we will perform another reset of the device. And I just turned on something. Great. Um, let me just go back. And no thanks. So I can skip whatever that was that I turned on. There we go, no thanks. And you can see we're now on the home screen. Let it just load fully so we can go now to the settings. Scroll down to, is it gonna be manage general settings, I guess? Yep, there it is, so reset. Actually not here, it looks. Oh, okay, so it is here. It just, I can't perform it because my battery is too low. Um, so once more, I'm just gonna show how to access it. So once you're on the home screen, you want to go into the settings and from here all the way down to uh, more general settings and then choose reset and factory data reset. So for me, it's grayed out. Uh, I'm gonna check one more thing, but ow. But I have a feeling that this won't work. Uh, okay, so it actually does work. Just let me get a little bit more of a cable there. I'll have to move it a little bit closer. So once it's plugged in, I actually can go through it. So factory data reset and once more and erase everything. And what this will do is basically remove everything from the phone, including the previous accounts that, that are on the devices or device and uh, once it's back in the setup screen once more, you can actually go through the setup process of the device without any uh, verification or any bypass. It will be completely removed at that time. So I'll be back once the setup screen is visible. Now we're in the setup screen. So I'm gonna actually unplug it. And now you want to set up your device as you like, so you can set up all the passwords, uh, logins, and whatever you like. 
But once more, I'm just gonna skip for the most part. Now, first thing you can see is that I can already skip the Wi-Fi connection, which normally I wouldn't be able after if I needed to verify some kind of account. So it's already good. Let's up on next. More. No thanks. And you can see that we're now on the home screen and the device is fully unlocked and ready to be used. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.